Well, the May uh, 2012 home price numbers that I produced with Case and S&P are showing a 2.2% rise in home prices nationally in, in the month of May. Uh, and that is pretty good. Uh, you know, if that were to keep going, that would be a boom. Uh, but I'm, I'm not so sure that a lot of people are saying that this is a, uh, the beginning of a new housing boom. Maybe, but I'm not so sure. It, it's partly seasonal. It's partly something that happens every summer. And beyond that, it's still hard to, hard to see clearly. One thing that helps explain the increase in home prices is a decline in foreclosures. Foreclosure activities usually involve a lot of homes selling at a very low price. Uh, I think that the decline in foreclosures is, is also creating a sense of increased optimism uh, at the moment, which is also helping to propel prices upward. But this is not the clear, uh, to me, not that clear a sign of a, of a new uptrend. I think this might have been the bottom that we just passed. Home prices might be going up. But the idea that they're going up at anything like 2.2% a month is not clear in my mind. It, it might very well be a modest uh, rebound in home prices. And, and I, don't, I don't see really solid reason to get excited about home price increases now because it seems like they're, we're still in such a difficult economic situation. And not just the US, but also Europe, which is in recession, and, and Asia, or Asia is weakening. So the idea that this is, we're off to the races again is just not supported by this new evidence. A lot of people are wondering now who are thinking of selling a house, whether they should wait and hold off for the price increases that seem to be coming. And, and the buyers are wondering whether they should hurry up and buy. But I don't, uh, I, know, I think in, in making a decision like that, the, the, the outlook is sufficiently murky that we shouldn't try to be so speculative and time our decisions, not now, with regard to the market. It could go either way. So I'm thinking that housing is quite affordable now with very low mortgage rates. Prices have come down a lot. And so anyone who is really interested in buying a home for the long term should do that. Uh, they shouldn't be deterred by the uncertainty in the market, which is always there. If it's important for your life, buy it. But the other, beyond that, the idea of buying a home on speculative uh, right now, I, I just have to say, maybe if you know what you're buying, but it's, it's going to be risky now. There's still a lot of uncertainty. It could go either way.